Hey, John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. I gotta say this camera battery is lasting forever. I got, I actually got a new SD card. I, I, the video was cutting out when I was trying to record, like I'd, I'd go over five minutes and it'd be like, I oh, stopped recording. So now this new SD card is actually faster and so it actually will continue to record. But that's not what I'm here to talk about today. <laughs> what I'm here to talk about today is a topic that I actually wrote a blog post about, but it's basically about productivity and work and what to do with your spare time. So I got this question and I'm definitely not going to read the, the name here. It's actually signed anonymous, but I have the actual email address and name, which is kind of funny. But anyway, uh, the question says, I prefer not to directly identify myself for some reasons. So I'm sending this email to ask something that goes through my mind frequently. Often in the IT field, there are moments when we are doing nothing. What should, be, what should we do in those moments? In our daily jobs, we have some problems to solve, some assignments, but maybe we solve problems or assignments in 10 to 30 minutes or even less, but we do have eight hours a day of work. It's easy to go browsing the internet looking for some news or browse Facebook page and so on. It's very time consuming at the end of the day. I feel like I've done nothing productive. So what should I do in this spare time where I don't have any work to do? Okay, so like I said, I did a blog post on this. I'll, uh, another note for me to, to put, the, I'll put this in the description below so you can check this out. But I wanted to do a video answer again, uh, cause I have some more thoughts on it and I think this is a good medium. Anyway, basically, you know, it, it, and well, let me, let me say this, first of all, you're not alone, right? If you're watching this video, chances are you're gonna relate to this guy uh, because I do. I mean, I have been at jobs where I have even my current job, right? It's really stupid when you're working for yourself and you get on Facebook and waste your day. <laughs> then you really feel stupid, right? You know, uh, so so it, even you know, I, I I'm pretty productive, right? I'll be honest, but occasionally, you know, I, I have those days, right? Everyone does, uh, and uh, and and so you know, I think a lot of people can relate to this. And and here's the thing. Here's what happens. This is a bad, bad habit that's going to make you feel worthless and make you feel uh, bored, not just bored, but tired. This is kind of goes opposite of what you would think, right? If you go and you surf the web all day and you're playing on Twitter and Facebook and reading news, you're going to feel like you did a lot of work. You're going to feel lazy and tired more so than if you actually worked the whole day. It, 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 it's, it's paradoxical, but if you've done this, believe me, I, you know, this is true. I, I can't explain exactly why this is, but you start to develop this habit that over time, you, be, you get an inversion to work. You, you actually start skipping your work. At first you were doing this because you had free time and you finish your work, and then you're procrastinating, procrastinating. Oh, I gotta read the news. Oh, I gotta check Twitter. Oh, I gotta do this. You know, gotta go through my emails before I work. And that becomes a really bad habit and you get lazy. You actually become, become an aversion towards work. So you want to not do that, right? As much as possible, you want to be productive. Now, like I said, in my blog post, I go over a lot of steps and stuff, but I want to give sort of a summary here and sort of my best tips on what to do. So first of all, there's almost always something to do, right? If you have finished the, your quote job, then go and see what else can you do. Can you help someone else? That's always good, right? That's gonna help you in your career. Can you build a, a tool? I always talk about creating developer tools or your, a tool to make your job easier. This is a great thing to do. It's a chance to explore new technology, right? That you might not get to work out uh, on your regular job and you can put on your resume now because you actually did it on your job, right? Uh, so, so this is a really great opportunity there if you can, if you can do that. Uh, so, so I would definitely try to do stuff related to, to work first, right? I, as someone who frequently pays someone to do work, right? I prefer if someone is doing work for me. So you want to do that first. You want to try to be as much value as possible to the person paying your paycheck because that's what you're being paid to do. So, you know, that's honesty, that's integrity, that's important. And you're going to feel better about it. It's not just like, you know, what is the right thing to do? You're going to feel so much better when you get stuff done, when you build tools, when you're helping someone else, than you will surfing Facebook, right? Or, or surfing the news. So you're going to feel better that, that, you know, I guarantee you. And, and you're going to be boosting your career, right? This is going to be immensely valuable for you because a lot of people take this downtime and they don't do anything with it, right? The other thing I would say is, you know, obviously something is better than nothing. So some places, even I've, you know, I've seen work environments where they don't want you to work. 
You need to sit at your desk and just pretend like you're working. <laughs> Uh, they don't want they don't want you to work on some other project or to mess things up You know even in those environments figure out what you can do Maybe it's gonna be a crappy task like documenting things but do it try you know try you know And if worse comes to worse if you're like, okay Well, there's really nothing to work on or uh, I'm just not gonna do it. I don't care John uh, then at the very least do something productive for you that's gonna that that your employer wouldn't uh, dis disapprove of disapprove frown upon, whatever. Anyway, uh, you might read a technical book or improve your skills in some area that's also useful to your employer. I actually do this, or I, I don't do it anymore, but when I worked for you know most of my career, I would spend about half an hour a day reading a technical book that's related to my job, and I would do it out in the open. And if employer asked me about it, I'd say, I'm you know, improving my skills in, in order to be able to do the job better. And you know, say, well, you could do that on your own time. Well, here's the deal. You know, I could search for a problem, right? Uh, I could search Google for an answer to a problem, and that could take me like three hours, or I could devote a little bit of time each day to improving my skills, and then I know the answer. I can find it that much faster. And so there's really, really an argument in that case. And if you're in that kind of environment, eh, you know, you might even want to get out. But anyway, that's not my top recommendation. Like I said, I would definitely recommend that you do some work for your employer, figure out something that you can do. You know, with that, with that said, there are definitely situations, and I talked about this in my blog post, where your employer says, well, you can work on your homework if you're in college or something like that, and they give you some other options or, or work on your side project. I've even seen that. I would recommend not doing that because, first of all, it's going gonna, it's gonna to bring up questions of integrity, even if you've been given permission, because not everyone's going to know it or believe it, and, uh, you know, and, and you're it's not a good career move, right? And plus, if you build something on the side or you work on something, it, there becomes a question of ownership. So don't do that. But, you know, I don't want to get too far into the weeds here. I just want to say this. Don't waste that time. Try not to waste time at work. If you're in a crappy environment where you don't like the work you're doing, think of it as training. Think of it as you are training, you're learning, you know, whatever it is you're enduring, even if you're training yourself to become more patient and more enduring, that is something to work on. You know, you got to look for the, for the light in it. But I guarantee you, if you're feeling burnt out, if you're feeling tired and lazy and all this, the cure for it is actually to work harder. And I, you know, there's, I'm not saying medically burnt out. I'm saying if you're at your job surfing Facebook all day because you can't bear the thought of doing any work or you're not getting much work, if you jump on the wagon and start actually getting a bunch of work done and becoming super productive, you're going to feel better and you're going to feel more motivated to work. It, it seems contradictory, but test me on this one. Try it out and see if it doesn't work. Ban yourself from Facebook and Twitter and news and all that and just focus on working for your employer. I talk about using the Pomodoro technique. If you look at my soft skills book, there's a chapter on how to quit your job. And one of the exercises I have you go through is to basically start working really, really hard at your job so you can see what it's like to be an entrepreneur because once you're on your own, that's what your day is going to be like. Uh, and most people don't spend a lot of time actually doing work at work. I know, shocking. But if you do that, you're going to feel better about yourself. You're going to get a lot more accomplished and you can you can move, advance your career, you know, that what would take you five years in less than a year if you are if you suddenly start doing this and it will get noticed, you know. so. Anyway, uh, that's my advice in that situation. Uh, you know, don't waste that time. If you like this video, uh, subscribe to the channel, share it with a, a friend that's you know watching YouTube videos instead of working. This this counts, by the way. This is technical. This helps you in your job. Uh, but but anyway, uh, if you if you want to see more of these videos, subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it. Take care, and I'll talk to you next time.